Hello, 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 great people. Welcome back to my kitchen. You've tuned in for another edition of Cooking with Love, and I'm Chef Green. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I make coconut curry tofu. I've already started to prepare some ingredients that will be going into the, the dish, and so let's get started. What we're gonna be using here today is some coconut milk tofu, of course, and what I have here is medium firm. Um, coconut milk, some curry powder, some complete seasoning. I think I wanna use some salt too, but we'll see once we uh, do a taste on the dish. I have some green onion, some regular yellow onion, carrots, some minced garlic, some uh, about a teaspoon of ginger, um, green bell pepper and red bell pepper. Um, and we're going to go ahead and open up our tofu. So this is what our medium firm tofu looks like. And we're going to go ahead and rinse it. One of the other <laughs> ingredients I forgot to mention is the olive oil that we'll be using. Split it down the middle. Those are nice pieces. Let's put it this way as well. And then we'll cut some rectangles. spread these out on a couple of paper towels to kind of soak up some of the excess water. And the reason why there is so much excess water in my tofu is because when I purchased it um, several weeks ago, I just went ahead and put it in the freezer. I did not um, anticipate on using it soon, so I froze it. And I will not do that ever again because I don't necessarily, I'm, I'm a little bit uncomfortable about the texture here and what we're gonna be working with um, as a result of me freezing it. So curry stains, um, and because of that, I'm a little hesitant about what I use because I don't want it to stain up my dishes. Use one of these bowls that have a, a hint of spaghetti stain in it. <laughs> so this is gonna be too bad. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna lightly season or toss our tofu okay in order to make the items that we're gonna the ingredients that we're gonna add we're gonna sprinkle this with a little olive oil maybe about a tablespoon full so that when we sprinkle and let it marinate, it'll stick to it. So we're gonna sprinkle it with some salt. Some complete seasoning. And some curry powder. Get a spoon and toss it. 
it can't be too rough with it. See, some of my pieces have already started to break. Carefully toss it. we've done that we're going to go ahead and finish pre preparing our vegetables um i've already washed and peeled the carrots um we're going to sit this in the refrigerator to allow it maybe about 15 20 minutes to marinate um the curry to set and the complete seasoning to set in this tofu so with my carrot i'm going to do some coins I normally would use tomatoes in my curry, but since I didn't buy any, um, I'm just gonna just bring that red color in and I'll go ahead and use this red bell pepper. portion not an entire green bell pepper since we have our green onion here not that it's about the color when it comes down to the green bell pepper but we won't need as much since we have green already going in the dish nothing like eating a colorful, delicious dish. Nothing like it. To begin our sauteing, because the carrots are much harder than the rest of these vegetables, I'm gonna start with sauteing the carrots. Thank you. 
Now we're going to add in some red and green peppers. Now we're going to drop in some thyme. Now we're going to add in our yellow onion. We're also adding the ginger here. Raw ginger. To this, we're going to add some complete seasoning. And some curry powder. Next, we're adding in our green onion. And as we always do, before moving to the next next step, we'll go ahead and add in the last ingredient before that we do garlic, our mixed garlic. Now that all of our vegetables have, have sauteed nicely, we're going to go ahead and remove these from this pan and we're going to add in our curry tofu. So now that we've added more oil, oil I'm going to go ahead and sear our tofu. So it's a nice and brown, golden brown. And now we're going to add in our coconut milk. Is that the plan? You don't have to shake it up with something probably. But okay. We'll go with it. Now that I didn't shake up the pan. We've mixed it all in together. We're going to go ahead and give it time to simmer for a few minutes and we'll be back. So I've given it a taste and I've decided that I'm going to add salt to give it a more savory taste. It lacks salt. It's bursting with all the other flavors but lacking salt. I'm going to go ahead and add back in the vegetables. We still don't want to stir too much because of the delicate texture of the tofu at this point. So I'm going to cover and continue to simmer for a few more minutes. Okay, so our coconut curry tofu is ready and we'll meet you at the dinner table. Okay, so we're back at the dinner table. So we're gonna try our coconut curry tofu. Just what I wanted for my vegetables to be crunchy. This is so good. This is a nice meal for vegetarians, vegans. <clears throat> really nice meal. Quinoa is a healthy alternative to rice, so this would even be good for diabetics. Mm. This is really good. Put in those harder vegetables in first made them more tender and it's it's almost like the the textures and the vegetables all level out to be about the same in terms of um crunchiness
Mm-mm-mm. Okay. So the very first time I prepared um, tofu was about two years ago, maybe two, two and a half years ago. And um, I was thinking tofu, ill, but I had to prepare it for work. Um, where I worked was at a sorority house. And so we had um, a few vegetarians that um, required, you know, separate meals from the regular um, 200 plus girls that we were feeding. Um, so I guess we had maybe about 20, 25 maybe um, vegetarians and they wouldn't come all at once, but they like, um, none of the girls came all the time, but they would come, you know, sporadically. and. And I loved it, you know, I loved preparing uh, something separate for them. I had to prepare tofu and it was a great experience. I was so shocked. Like, tofu is an item that can be made to taste how you want it to taste, if that makes sense. Um, like the first time I think I prepared it, we were having chicken parmesan that night and I, um made separate stuff but i did the tofu as if it was chicken parmesan so i did the whole breading and everything and when it was all done i you know ladled over some marinara sauce over the top of the, the um the parmesan tofu and it was just delicious like i was so shocked like and very pleased like i was like yes i'll eat tofu so from that point on I have something and i could make it be somewhat similar to what we have on the line and it would be great like like i had fun with it um as well i'm i'm having quinoa with it that is also when i learned to cook quinoa i was like there were so many things that i was introduced to being um the sous chef there at the um at the sorority houses and so it was a fun experience but yeah i got to learn how to use uh, my giftings with tofu and quinoa so it was an experience but this is good and i don't want to get back to it i don't want to talk you guys forever so thank you guys so much for watching this has been another edition of cooking with love don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below and please share this video. And until next time, I'm Chef Green. Bye-bye.